At least six people have died in an outbreak of the new coronavirus. China says the number of people infected by a mysterious respiratory virus has more than tripled over the weekend. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has confirmed the first U.S. case. Scientists say the virus is getting stronger. The worldwide total of confirmed COVID-19 cases now surpassing one million. Spread by human-to-human -human contact. More than 126,000 people have died from the disease. Coffins are tragically high. I've known wardrobe cleaners pretty much my whole life. You know, um, my dad has worked here since he was 17, just to make some extra money for his family. And then um, 38 years later, he's uh, having to shut it down because it just, you know, it wasn't working anymore. People don't need dry cleaning like they used to back in the day. But for those 38 years, he's, you know, he started out as a delivery guy, uh, delivering clothes to people all over Casper. And uh, then he became a co-owner eventually, and he raised a family on it. Wardrobe Cleaners was a business in Casper, started, gosh, in the early 1900s. It's 103 years old. Besides the hospital, Wardrobe Cleaners was actually the oldest operating business in the same building in Casper. And you think about a town that, you know, middle of Wyoming, you go back 103 years, I mean, this place is completely different. Entire industrial revolution, Great Depression, like this was here when all that was going on, like that, you know, this place came from that, and yeah, no, it's just, it's just a piece of Casper. It's a piece of history. I have so many memories of this place, you know, from when I was younger. I used to come in, they used to have an old collection of buttons. Um, and so when I was, you know, five, six, I'd come in, I just wanted to find cool buttons. Like, I remember that, like, distinctly, like, running through all the old clothes that they had. And, you know, this place isn't just some old cleaners. Like, this place is, this place made me who I am, you know? Everything that's going on with uh, COVID-19, you know, this, this crazy pandemic, a lot of things have shut down. A lot of small businesses, places have shut down, um, you know, just to try to keep everyone safe and uh, gyms are no exception at all. We didn't know how long it was gonna be and didn't really wanna just have a couple weeks or a month off of just not working out. So that's kind of where wardrobe fit into the picture. My dad used to have like an old school grungy basement gym with all of his buddies in his house um, back in like the 80s, early 80s. Um, just like, just super homemade old weights, things like that. So I was like, well, maybe he's got some old weights laying around. I, I uh, texted him and he's like, yeah, I think there actually might be some in the attic. And so sure enough, Tanner and I went over to, to my parents' place, looked in the attic and found just a bunch of old, old school weights. Um, yeah, that just were like literally covered in dust. I mean, hadn't been touched in years, so. A lot of people, they look at people who go to the gym or people who are, you know, addicted to fitness, lifting, things like that. And I mean, people overdo it. People hurt themselves. Like, why, why push yourself to the point of injury, to the point where, where it seems like you're suffering? You know, like, why, why do that? And, and uh, until you're really in it, until you understand how it feels to to dedicate so much time to something, to actually see your fitness levels change, to see your life get better in any regard. And it's not just an escape for people, you know, like this is, this is a part of who they are. When you're working out, when you're pushing yourself, it's just a place to get lost. It's a place to just be fully focused on the moment. And so, you know, that's just something I love and we needed another place to do that. So yeah, that's why we're here.